everyone, welcome back to my channel, Marvelous Monica. So, in my last video, I recorded my remote learning. And today, I'm actually going to teach you something that I've been learning. So, I'm going to show you something in math. I'm going to show you how to add two digit numbers using four strategies. So, let's get into it. So, the first strategy we will be learning is base 10 Betsy. So, we're going to figure out 52 plus 39 and it equals. So, before we start doing it, actually there's a magic number in base 10 Betsy. And that magic number is 10. 10 is the magic number. So, whenever you see a 10, in the ones place, then you have to just circle up the 10 and then move it to the other side because then that becomes a 10. So now let's start doing the strategy. So we're going to make the tens column and ones column. Just T stands for 10 and O stands for ones. So now let's make 52 with base 10 blocks. So we have to make five tens and two ones. And now we have to make 39, so three tens and nine ones. Let's make nine there. Wait a minute, always add the ones first. You have to add the ones first, just in case you reach our magic number, which is 10. Wait a minute, we have 39 and then two more. I know that nine plus one is 10, but two is more. So we have got our magic number. So we circle up nine and then take the one, we just circle up the 10 and circle all of that and make an arrow and then push it to the other side and add one more 10. So now count these 10s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine tens now. So put nine there and we have one one here. We already moved the other 10 to the other side. So we have one more left. So nine and one. The answer is 91. And whenever you don't have a magic number, all you have to do is just count the base 10 blocks. The next one is number line Niles. So let's just underline it. So we're learning it right now. And now let's make an empty number line because Niles likes to use an empty number line to do his math. So let's do, hmm, let's do 55 plus, plus 17. So, so in number line Niles, there's not really a magic number. So step one, grab the bigger number. So which one is bigger, 55 or 17? The bigger number is 55. So we add it here. So we got 55 and now you can cross that off because we got it. And now, and now the next step is to step two. Look at the 10, add the 10. So in 17, we have to, we already have 55, but we have to add 17. So, we have, and there's one 10 in 17. So just, just make one small bubble like this and write plus 10. So this is how to figure it out. So 55 plus 10 is 65, then it keeps going on 75, 85, 95, 105, and all of that. So that's how to count by 10 from two digit numbers. So now 55 plus 10 is 65. See how the 10 keeps changing? It's kind of like the 10. So you know that if there's 55 and there's, there's five in the tens place, then next comes six. So now we already got the 10, we added that so we can cross that. And now we add, and now this is where we start counting normally by, by ones. So this is 17 and there are seven ones. So we write plus seven. And now we just, just write the number seven times. So 65, 66, 67, 68, and keep counting. 
five now, and then I need to add seven. So 70, 71, 72. So now we got 72. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we counted seven times more and we landed at 72. So 72 is our answer. And in number line Niles, we always circle the answer. So we circle it here and write 72 and that's our answer. Now we're moving on to the third strategy. And that strategy is break it down daisy. So before you learn Break It Down Daisy, you need to know what expanded form is. So let's do 52 in expanded form. An expanded form tells the value of each number. So actually there's 52 and what does the five stand for? Is it in the hundreds place, tens place, or ones place? It's in the tens place. So that means that it's 50 and then plus so one, so two is in the one place. So it just stands for two. So 50 plus two. And again, expanded form tells the value of each number. So now let's actually start doing the strategy. Again, in Break It Down Daisy, there's always the magic number, which is 10. So let's do 75 plus Hmm, plus 28. So now let's, so again, break down Daisy uses expanded form. And, and since in base 10 Betsy, you know that, that there's a magic number, there's also a magic number in break it down Daisy. So just in case the magic number comes, you'll need to put these boxes on top. So now let's put 75 in expanded form. So in the seven, what is the value? 70, 70 plus five. Then 28 is 20, because the two is value of 20, is the value of 20 and 20 plus eight. So now we put the equal sign here and add these. We'll always add the ones first. So let's just add one more addition sign here. Add the ones. Wait a minute. Eight plus two equals ten, but five is even more than that. So let's see. Eight plus five is thirteen. Wait a minute. We reached our magic number. So now in thirteen, it's actually bigger than ten. So now over here, this one needs to go because the value of it is 10. So this one needs to go. And now we made a 10. So actually add a 10 here and now add all of this. 70 plus 20 plus 10. So don't panic if you don't, if you don't know this, just, just, so this is what you can do. You could just add a zero here and then add 70 plus two, like a seven plus two plus one. So I know that seven plus two is, hmm, seven plus two is nine, and then one more is 10. So we could just like, so, so we could just like make 10 here, and then a hundred plus three. So that's 103, and that's the answer. Now we're doing the last strategy, which is algorithm. So algorithm is actually very similar to Break It Down Daisy. So just add the boxes, but then make a line here and a line here. And so now I have to think of an equation. So let's do 43 plus, hmm, so let's do 43 plus 25. So now let's figure this out. So it's four and three, so just add an addition sign. So four and three, like just write 43, and then now add this. So let's so always add the the ones first, just like in Break It Down Daisy. So three plus five. We didn't really reach our magic number, but but just so you guys know 
what to do. Let me actually make us reach our magic number. So let's do 45 plus 55 instead of 43. So let's erase this and say it's, it's 45. So now you know that five plus five is 10. Oh, we reached our magic number. So we circle that up and make an arrow here and add a one here. Instead of writing 10, just add a one. So now add this, one plus four plus two. So first figure out four plus two, and you know that's six, and then add one more, which is seven. So this is equal to seven, and now, and now you can just take away this one here and say, seven and zero, that's 70, and that's the answer. Now, we made it to the end of this video and learned all the strategies. So I hope you like my strategies. For my next video, I'm going to do all these strategies, but they're going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to subtract two digit numbers. So for the next video, keep waiting. So I hope you like my video. And if you like it, please like this video and share it with your family and friends and comment down below and subscribe and give a big thumbs up. And keep watching and stay tuned for more videos and I'll post more videos in the future and see you next time. Bye!